Hi all. Welcome back to the last session of English Grade Assignment 3, Week 3. It has come to our notice that many students are facing difficulty in understanding aspirated sounds, aspirated stops. So, what we will do? We will share you few links. Just go through that and make the concepts clear apart from the IITM videos, official videos. You can go through these two videos. One video I will be sharing the link and even I will be showing you. It is on the screen as you can see. I will give a little bit idea of this. What is aspiration actually means. And I will also give you one website to know about the aspirated stops in English. Let us start it in short. Later you can go through the links and check it out. of your comments. This time it's about phonetics and something that is useful but can get complicated. Khalid says, could you make one video with aspirated sounds in English please? Well that is a great question and I've been meaning to do a video on aspirated sounds for a long time. So here goes. First of all let's explain what aspirated means. If you put your hand in front of your mouth and speak in any language, you'll feel air puffing out of your mouth okay. on certain sounds. Check it out. Some sounds produce the puff of air and others don't. The ones that do are aspirated. Okay. That's what it means. Remember though, that I don't think people learning English should get too into phonetics because it does get very complicated. And it will be a distraction from learning English if you go into it in too much detail. The subject of aspiration is useful to know, but it gets very complicated very quickly. And like with all my videos, I'm only presenting to you what I think is useful for learning English as a second language. Remember that when you start trolling the comments with comments about tiny little details. If you're just learning English as a second language, let me, trust me fast forward it. You're open rated. Vowels and, and techniques. In English, vowels and diphthongs are never aspirated, only certain consonants. And technically, only p, t, and those are the only sounds that are aspirated. These are only so aspirated. when you say these sounds, a puff of air should come out of your mouth. You can check to see if you're like doing paper. it right to put your hand in by putting your hand in front of your mouth, or you can use With paper a also little piece test. of paper and to see if it moves like this. Here are some example words: potato, Twitter. Quick. It does get complicated because these sounds are okay. So this is what aspiration means and aspirated sounds. And here is the second link for you about aspirated stops, which covers the last five questions which has already been explained and here you can read in detail. Okay, it's in very detail, minute detail. IPA to transcribe speech sounds and that our transcription can be either broad or narrow. When we make a narrow transcription, we're including as much detail as possible about how speakers produce sounds, which often means including diacritics. To give an accurate narrow transcription of Canadian English, we would have to include a property that's part of nearly every variety of English aspiration on voiceless stops. This is what we have to read. To illustrate what aspiration is, I'm going to ask you to say a silly sentence. The spy wanted to buy a blueberry pie. Now say it again and hold your hand in front of your mouth. The spy wanted to buy a blueberry pie. Did you feel any differences between the words spy 
by and pi. For native speakers of English, the word pi is produced with a little puff of air as the p is released. That puff of air is called aspiration. English speakers systematically produce aspiration on voiceless stops at the beginning of a stressed syllable. This is the line. Not on voiced stops. To understand why, we have to think about voicing and about manner of articulation. Remember that voice stops are produced by vibrating the vocal folds, whereas voiceless sounds have the vocal folds held open so air can pass freely between them. Remember also that producing a stop involves closing off the vocal tracts completely for a moment, then releasing the obstruction and allowing air to flow freely again. Think about the voiced stop at the beginning of the word by. The lips are closed, that's the stop closure, and the vocal folds start vibrating for the voiced b. Then the lips open and the stop is released and the vocal folds keep vibrating for the diphthong i. But in the word pi, things work differently. The lips are closed for the bilabial stop, but because p is a voiceless stop, the vocal folds are not vibrating. We open the lips to release the stop, but 30 or 40 milliseconds pass before we start vibrating the vocal folds. That 30 to 40 milliseconds between when the stop closure is released and the voicing begins is called the voice onset time, or VOT. In English voiceless stops in certain positions, there's a VOT of 30 or 40 milliseconds, so we say that they're aspirated. But voice stops have a much shorter VOT of about 0 to 10 milliseconds. In mm -hmm. other words, the vocal folds start vibrating at almost exactly the same time as the stop closure is released, so voice stops in English are unaspirated. The diacritic to indicate aspiration on a stop is a little superscript H, like so. But to make matters even more complicated, it's not all voiceless stops that get aspirated in English. It's only voiceless stops at the beginning of a stressed syllable. In words like appear and The lines what she's explaining here, these are directly asked in the questions of qualifier last year. So everybody must pay attention, pay attention in this whole thing. Whatever she is explaining in the last one minute, directly they are asking questions from these points. Attack. The voiceless stop isn't the first sound in the word, but it comes at the beginning of a stressed syllable, so it gets aspirated. But in the words apple and beginning of peer, but to make matters even more, I am repeating it again. Unaspirated. The diacritic to indicate aspiration on a stop is a little superscript H, like so. This one. But to make matters even more complicated, it's not all voiceless stops that get aspirated in English. It's only voiceless stops at the beginning of a stressed Stress syllable. Level. In words like appear and attack, the voiceless stop isn't the first sound in the word, but it comes at the beginning of a stressed syllable, so it gets aspirated. But in the words apple and nickel, the voiceless stop comes after a stressed syllable and before an unstressed syllable, so it doesn't get aspirated. We don't aspirate voiceless stops at the ends of words like in People also have to understand here what is stress label and what is not stress label. Okay, you can check the video and the website and uh, you can check it out. Everything is mentioned here very nicely. See, I'm just having, giving you a glimpse of the website. This is from Press Brooks, Essential of Linguistics. Uh, the headline is Aspirated Stops in English. brick which is produced. Show you the waveforms. This program is known as a waveform editor and here's Kendrick's voice saying that sentence. The spy wanted to buy a blueberry pie. This waveform is a visual representation of the sound waves that Kendrick just produced. This is awesome you can understand. See that I can select certain parts of the sentence and play them back. The spy by pie. Let's look first at by. By. You can see that there's a very brief silence. That's where Kendrick's lips were closed for the bilabial stop. Then when he releases his lips, the waveform gets nice and big for that sonar's vowel I. By. Now let's look at pi. Bilabial means like B, P and all, in which both the upper and the lower lips stop while speaking that pa, ba, all those things are called as bilabial. It will also come in the qualified exam and last time it has asked directly which are the bilabial words select from the options. Options were given like K, P, T, P and you have to select it. Three there are bilabial stops I think so.
पहले भी साउंड्स भाई भाई यू कैन सी द सेम साइलेंस वेयर द लिप्स आर क्लोज्ड एंड द सेम बिग वेव फॉर्म फॉर द वोवेल आई बट बिफोर द वोवेल देयर इज दिस नॉइजी बर्स्ट ऑफ टर्बुलेंस that's the aspiration on the p exactly and now let's look at spy 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 we see the turbulence at the beginning that's for the fricative s and then there's this silence where the lips are closed for the p and then there's this nice sonorous vowel spy but there's no burst of noise following the release of the lips because the p in spy was not aspirated in fact if i select just the pi portion of spy of spy what does it sound like by to a native speaker of english this part sounds like by by because the p is unaspirated but listen it's from that word spy spy by anyways let us pause it i will uh, leave the link in the description and i hope every one of you might have understood this is the real study of english phonetics like this you have to study and only then you can understand all those things being an indian not an american or a canadian only this then you can understand and learn the real visualization how the words voice like okay so this is the end of our video series for the english graded assignments so we will meet you in the next fourth graded assignments thank you